Welcome everyone, the 1500 meter women's race is next. You see the world record, Tatiana Kazankina, set way back in 1980, Mary Slaney's record holds. No new changes for 10 years in world and American records. There you take a look at Sarah Howell from Canada, has the fastest time coming into the race of a 410.90. She ran that just last month. But I don't think time, Larry, will be a key factor as we take a look at the leading American, Kristen Seabury. She's only run 416, but was several times an All-American while at Alabama. I think it's going to be a tactical race. I don't think time is important. Even looking at split times will not be a factor here. Tactics will tell all. Extremely wide open race. We have 13 competitors, you say, representing 11 countries. And there you see the lineup. Most of these women have run the full mile distance and times better than four minutes and 40 seconds for the mile. Metrically, they're about 17 seconds faster. In, in time because the distance is a little shorter. Wide open, I really think this is interesting. There were no heats to get here. They took these athletes in, and this is the dangerous part of the race here to the first curve, I think, Craig. Well, it really changes the character of the race, the fact that they did not run qualifying rounds because the athletes haven't had a chance to look at one another, feel one another out in terms of race tactics. And they're also not tired, they're completely fresh. Usually in championship racing, you have to go through several rounds and it's stamina as much as speed that will be important. And as we expected, it's not a fast pace, it's a tactical race. Let us set the, uh, the leaders for you right now. That was Elisa Rea of Italy in blue, who's moved in, number 1135. The pace relatively slow. On the inside is a woman running for a native country of Trinidad, who has grown up in the United States largely, Charlene Neptune, wearing number 1165. She's on the inside there. This is looking to me like a kicker's race, the way they're going. Well, in a tactical race, when you know that the pace is going to be a, a moderate one, the key, as we see there, 67-7 at the 400, the key is to place yourself in a position where you can be relaxed throughout the race, where you don't get nervous as others shift around during the race, where you run towards the inside so that you run less than someone who's running towards the outside, but at the same time that you're not totally blocked when you want to make a move of some kind. The three women running three abreast up there, acting as kind of blockers for the rest. That is Rhea on the inside in blue. Sarah Howell next to her from Canada. And on the outside, number 930 that you see it's on your screen right there is James Spark from Great Britain. Tucked right behind is Kristen Seabury, who has the top time of the two Americans in the race. And you see some pushing and shoving going on in the field. Rhea from Italy is also a good 800 meter runner, so we know that she has good finishing speed. Sarah Howe, one of the most experienced runners in the field and has the fastest time of anyone in the field. And you mentioned Jane Spark from Great Britain. Both the British athletes in the race have run right around 4.13. And given the weather they've had in England earlier this year, they may be ready to run well in these conditions. You raise a good point about Rhea, who's still controlling the pace up in the lead with Sarah Howell on her shoulder from Canada. The young Italian woman here with her superior speed may be trying to keep the pace very reasonable in hopes of using her fine finishing kick. Well, there is no wind of any significant nature today, so leading the race as Elisa Rea and the Canadian woman Sarah Howe are doing isn't really hurting them all that much, and yet when the real running starts, they're only a lap and a quarter to go now, they will have the opportunity to run from the front. Exactly right. Hey, let's set the lanes and set the leaders for you right now. Lynn Robinson from Great Britain, number 928. Jane Spock on the inside, one lap to go. Sarah in red from Canada. On the inside is Elisa Rea from Italy. Julie Spikes, the American in the blonde hair, is right now in fourth place. Kristen Seabury seems to have faded back just a bit. She's a step or two behind. 300 meters to go. Two straightaways and a turn. Spikes, who's in fourth place now, fourth from the left of the screen, only 12th in the U.S. Championships, but she's running aggressively early in this last lap. The real running now being taken up by Sarah Howe from Canada, and she's still eyeing to see who else is there and who else is ready to make a move. That is Howell up in the lead on the inside, and it is Lynn Robinson on her outside, moving by now. Julie Spice from the United States, the blonde, moving up into second. She seems to be coming along well. It is definitely Robinson powering all the way down the home stretch. Spice is in second. Howell is in third, fading in 
the race is Rhea, and it looks like it's going to be Lynn Robinson from Great Britain. Here comes Julie Spice for the last minute charge. Robinson the winner. Spice in second place. Superb running for these women, unofficially. We have 4 minutes and 12 seconds. That translates to about a 4 minute 29 second mile. The personal best for the winner, Lynn Robinson, who exhibited the kind of kick that we've seen from male runners from Great Britain like Sebastian Coe and Steve Ovette and Steve Graham. She was never going to be caught once she got moving. But what an amazing race for Julie Spikes in second, who must have run right around 4.13. Her best coming in, 4.19. So she improves wow. by some six seconds in this race. Great Britain gets the gold. The United States gets the silver. Canada gets the bronze. Let's go now back to our colleague John Saunders, who's overlooking this whole action. All right, Larry, thanks a lot. And another terrific race here at the World University Games. When we come back, there's still plenty more track and field to come, including the men's 1500 meter. We'll get you updated on some rowing as well from here in Buffalo. And it is your winner in the women's 1500 meter of Great Britain. She is standing by now with our Sherry Howard and obviously very excited about bringing home the goal. The speed was ran moderate. You ran very tactical and it came down to the sprint. Mm -hmm. You came in here running a 419 and you ran a personal best of unofficially 412. How do you feel about that? I'm delighted, absolutely delighted. Didn't think I could run any faster. And I felt great. It was really good. Well, what about your world championship team? I understand you're waiting to hear if you made that team or not. Well, yeah, nobody's done the A standard, so it depends who goes for the B. So uh, we'll have to wait and see now. Well, congratulations to you today. Thank you. Here's the official results of the women's race. Lynn Robinson in an official time of 4 minutes, 12.31 hundredths of a second. Julie Spites takes second. Excellent time, excellent showing. Sarah Howell takes third.